Welcome to the Field the Press channel. Hello. We have here really nice Phantom high speed camera. And we are, here we have some Prince Rupert drops. And there we have some glass containers with water. So we are going to do again our exploding Prince Rupert drops underwater video. And this time we are going to go with much higher frame rates. We are going to test with different sized water containers what are the reactions. But I can already say that they are going to be really interesting. And if you haven't seen the, our first video about this thing, the small glass containers break when you explode the drop inside of them. And that's because the really are pressure shock. And with some bit larger containers, you get this really weird thing where the drop breaks and then there is like cavitation bubbles due to like pressure changes. So I think the whole glass thing stretches out and in and the pressure changes on the water and the bubbles come and go. It's really weird. So let's hope that we can see these same things but much better speeds and resolutions. Here is my Rupert Drop explosion suite. <laughs> there is going to be glass everywhere, so I, I put this on. Uh. Oh. No, it wasn't like real drop. So that didn't explode, so let's try with this one. Uh. It's really hard. Woo! Ah, it jumped up, but it didn't break. Really strange. So it didn't break, even it was quite small, but it jumped quite high up and it was really surprising. And this is now played at 20 times the like normal slow motion speed to save some time. And here is now 30 frames per second, the normal speed. So it's quite long clip if you play it like that. And here is a bit closer shot from the explosion. I think there is those cavitation bubbles, but the resolution isn't good enough to us to see them. And because I want to break one glass, we got even smaller. And I have new drop ready. And I'm going to put this here. And here we go.
It was really hard to break. It had so short stay. And as you can see, for some reason this drop didn't break completely. It was just a tail and the tip was still okay, so we have to try again. So that was really strange. It exploded, but there is still like just a tip left that didn't explode. I'm going to try this one next. And here we go. No, same deal. Yeah, so new try. Let's go underwater. Woo, I think that's worth it. And I think this one wasn't so good that it could, couldn't have been. It was quite lame explosion, but it was the last drop that we had. We did so many Rupert's drop videos that we used it all and this was the last one. But yeah, I think these were quite interesting on the slow motion, especially the one that jumped. So yeah, the, we didn't see the cavitation bubbles this time. And I think the Rupert drop were a bit different, maybe the glass is a bit different or something. And there was like that point that stops the shock wave or quite many bubbles. But the jumping thing, that was a big surprise for me. And also the glass broke really nicely. And just the Rupert drop filmed with that camera is really nice. And actually this is last video that we filmed. We in, have filmed uh, 11 videos in two days. Yeah, I, 11. Yeah, we made this. This is the. This was our collaboration with Neverthink TV. They bought the camera here, and we bring the content. And I think we really. <laughs> we really we, bring the content. Yeah, because it's 11 videos. We are now really tired. I think we are going to go to sleep. But it was really fun, one weekend, we had a lot of like dynamite and pressing and Rupert shop and good stuff. Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day. And this is my handmade last year, it looks like absolute shit. And now I'm going to unbox it. Oh, most satisfying unbox ever. <laughs>